Hey friends, it's Carol Saltbox Stitcher back for video number. I don't know what. What do you set the thermostat at night to try to freeze me out of the house? Oh, 72. <laughs> I do. <laughs> he turns it up to 74, 75 during the day, and I tolerate that because he's always cold and I'm always hot. How are you? <laughs> I have a disclaimer. I'm disorganized, I'm tired, I'm grubby, but I have some wonderful memories from a great retreat. So I'm gonna try to go through some of the things that I did, some of the things I purchased, all that good stuff. So anyway, um, welcome. <laughs> Today is June 25th, Saturday, and um, I know Brenda and Laura were going to do one again today, so I guess we're going to be on the same weekend for a while, but maybe at some point with my quilt videos I can kind of offset or something. Not that it matters, because hello, there are so many <laughs> floss tubers out there, you don't need to depend on just a few to watch. So anyway, um, where to start? Well, I'm going to first show you what I was stitching on before I left. And then I'll show you a little bit about what I stitched on while I was there. And where is there? I went to the Midwest. Spent some time with my sister. Okay, like I said, this, there was a disclaimer, remember? <laughs> okay. On Sunday, let's see, tomorrow's the 26th minus 14th. Sunday the 12th. I flew out of Jacksonville to Kansas City. Well, I went by way of St. Louis to Kansas City. My sister, my brother, and my brother-in-law picked me up at the airport. They had just come in the day before from a trip to Chicago. And my brother, brother-in-law, and sister all live in Wichita, Kansas. So they were in Kansas City. We all went out to dinner with, um, as soon as they picked me up, we went out to dinner with my niece, her husband, her daughter, my nephew and his wife and all of us, and it was wonderful. My brother paid for the whole dinner, which was not necessary, but wonderful. Got a few pictures and um, it was very nice. I don't see my niece and my nephew as much, so it was nice to be able to see them. Then on Monday and on, Monday, my sister and I were in Kansas City, and I went to Coulter Station, and I have a few things when I go into all the things I bought. I'm not going to separate out what was here and what was there and whatever. Anyway, so on Monday, we went to Coulter Station, which is my very favorite quilt shop in the whole world. <laughs> not that I've been to all of them, but it's one of my very favorite quilt shops. And uh, she's starting to carry cross stitch and she's doing retreats now for cross stitch so um, that'll be a retreat I'll go to in September that's off the subject um, then Tuesday morning my sister and I we picked up Kay Dunlap and we drove from Kansas City to Spring Green Wisconsin it ended up by the time we stopped to eat and get gas and all that it was about an eight hour trip I don't think it's really an eight hour trip but it took us about eight hours and plus we had to pick up Kay and so anyway um, we drove we got to country sampler probably about a half hour after they closed but the door was open so we stuck our head in uh, saw Jeannie and a couple other people that work there and they were furiously trying to get ready for the retreat, which started Thursday night. So this was Tuesday, late, late, late afternoon. She rec Jeannie recommended a great place to go eat, which we did. And then we stayed in the upstairs apartment, which sleeps seven. So um, that night there were three of us, Kay, Deb is my sister, and which from now on, I'm going to refer to her as Deb, not my sister. <laughs> One word better than two. Anyway, um, Kay, Deb, and I spent the night in the upstairs. And then Wednesday, Pam Horner, another friend, joined us. She lives like 
two and a half hours from Spring Green. So she came on Wednesday morning. We shopped the store on Wednesday. There were already a lot of people there for the retreat, shopping early. And then, let's see. I think that's all we did Wednesday. Then Thursday, we got up, went to the store again, and then we drove to Madison. No, Wednesday we drove to Madison. Yeah, Wednesday we drove to Madison. And we had we went to Lynn's of Madison, which is a shop that has linen. It has a lot of art supplies, but it has linen, lots and lots of scarlet letter charts. And I saw a gal, Denise, who used to work at the Old Mill Stitchery in, in Liberty, Missouri. And she had come to the retreat, and she was actually with her husband. <laughs> when I started talking to her, her husband goes, I recognize that voice, <laughs> meaning my voice. It's like, oh, this is scary. <laughs> anyway, so um, we shopped a little bit at Lynn's of Madison, and I'll show you a few things I got there. I'm going to show all of this together at the end. And I'm going to try to do a, few, a little bit of pictures at the end. I'm not great at taking pictures at a retreat because I don't really carry my phone around with me. And then I'd have to go back to my table, get my phone, you know, all of that. The moment had passed. But anyway, so then um, Thursday we went to the sh shop. Thursday, Brenda, Laura, and Nicole from Nicole's Needwork, they drove in from Chicago. Uh, Nicole had had um, flown to Chicago from South Carolina or she in North Carolina whatever she's in one of the Carolinas and then um, then the retreat officially started Thursday evening so Thursday evening we had a kickoff Jeannie introduced all the designers you know we got to see where the retreat was going to be held and um, it was great getting to meet people there were a hundred people which was the biggest largest retreat genie from country sampler had put on it was just fabulous i can't say enough good things about it it was just fabulous meeting so many people reconnecting with people but i forgot to say on when we were still in madison on wednesday we went out to dinner with tammy who is basket nut on instagram and sandy who is s I think it's pronounced Feiner. It's F-E-I-G-N-E-R, who is not a cross-stitcher, so she wasn't there for the retreat. And then Karen, who is um, Yellow Farmhouse. So we got to have dinner with all of them. It was very fun. And then that was Wednesday. And then Thursday's when Brenda, Laura, and Nicole came. And then Kay went on to her t hotel. So there were seven of us totally in the upstairs. So it was Deb, me, Pam, another gal named Terry, who's chocolates for breakfast, she came and she roomed with Pam and then Brenda, Laura, and Nicole. So in the upstairs of Country Sampler, there's a whole apartment. It's when there's a retreat, you have to put your name in early. And it was nice because we all knew each other. So there's one sleeping room that has three twin beds and then there's two rooms that have two beds each. And then there's two full bathrooms plus a huge kitchen i have some pictures like i said i'll do a try to get my husband just to do a quick photo montage at the end so all that to say what was i stitching um oh and then after the retreat we drove sunday because the retreat was really friday saturday thursday night plus friday saturday and then sunday we spent the night saturday night sunday we drove from spring green all the way to wichita which was like 11 hour drive and then Monday and Tuesday I stayed at my sister's house in Wichita Wednesday my brother drove me back to the Kansas City Airport and then I had big plane delays flight delays so totally I was traveling that day about I don't know 16 hours something like that between being at the airport and being on the plane and being in the car that's why I'm tired. <laughs> so I got home at 4 a.m. Thursday. Was Didn't do anything much Thursday and didn't do much Friday, except yesterday I did some laundry. So anyway, that's my itinerary, itinerary that I did. But let's show stitching because you're not here to hear all that other stuff. You just want to see what my haul.
what my stitching is. I know, I know. I watch these videos too. <laughs> Other people's. So before I left on my trip, I had told you that I was going to be doing smalls during the month of June up until the 4th of July. So I started working on this one. This is called Liberty Inn by Plum Street. And to tell you the truth, my brain is a little bit overloaded. So I'm not sure exactly what I told you in my last video. If I Had I started it? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. So that was the first thing I worked on. Now, one of the things I wanted to tell you, I changed a few of the colors. If you look at that fence, there's some bunting in between the rails of the fence. And then there's the flag up here within a star. And then there's some stars here. Okay, the red in both the flag and the bunting called for um, caramel corn by Gentle Art. No, I, I lied. Wood Rose by Gentle Art. I had two. Well, the first one I pulled was this. Mm, not exactly a red. Not even close to being a red. It's a light peach. And then I had another one that was like this. Still not a red, but anyway. So what I decided to do was change, let's see, it also called for, it did call for cherry bark on the flowers. See, I have to remember because I was stitching this before I left. I didn't take it with me. So it calls for cherry bark on the flowers. Well, again, I had two cherry barks. One of them, I only have one of them here, but one of them was almost a black red. Then I had this one, which had a little bit more red red. It's actually more wine colored and you know, that's probably closer to what it looks like. So I decided to just use that for everything. The flag, the flowers and the bunting on the bottom. Can you see it? Okay. The fabric I'm using is Steinbeck by Needle and Flax. It's a light grayish, but it does have modeling. This is the fat quarter. I haven't trimmed it down yet. It does have some modeling. So the pattern also calls for two different whites. It calls for shaker white and oatmeal, both by Gentle Art. Neither of those was showing up for the house. So I went through different whites because I did want the house to show up. I know on the pattern, it's a little ghosty and the pattern is originally done on ma vintage maple sugar by lakeside i think i did talk about that because i remember saying maple sugar <laughs> i just remember saying that anyway i used um steinbeck i ended up using whitewashed by weeks for my house and anything that was white so in other words, even though it called for two different whites, I used uh, whitewashed extensively. I mean, for the whole thing. And it's almost finished. I have just a teeny bit to do, like two or three stars in here. But I didn't get it finished before I left. I decided not to take it because I didn't, to just have those few to do. I thought I'll do that when I come back. So I still have to do that. Hopefully I'll get that done this weekend. And I did change because a lot of the stars had that wood rose, I changed some of them to having blue on the inside. So that's my story about Liberty Inn by Plum Street. Then when I was on my trip, I took, it was kind of funny because people had watched my videos and they were like, so what did you decide to take or to bring on the retreat? Because I guess my last video I kept saying, oh, I could take this or I could take that. I was like, talk about indecision. Anyway, I decided to take this one, Sampler House 3. Sampler House 3 by Plum Street. This one came out a while ago. 
2017. She did a whole series of sampler houses. I think there were five altogether, but they kind of coordinated with the seasons. So this is sampler house three. There was a winter one, I think it was one, which I've done. And then number two was maybe spring. And then this is more patriotic for summer. And then there was a fall and a winter and a Christmas one. Sampler House 3 by Plum Street. So this one I'm using, I think I'm using all the called for on this. I am. I am. So I started it on the airplane and I couldn't believe it, but I was actually counting these. There's like 99 one direction, 98 the other direction, but it came out right. So, so here's my, I'm partially finished. I have just the other three trees to do. So I've done the first tree, which is over here, that skinny one that kind of fades out of the picture. And then I have this one, oops, this one, this one, and this one to do. That's all. So and that's what it's done. It's done on 36 Count Stars Hollow by R&R. &R. It says your grand old flag. And I literally just have, I wasn't sure if I was going to like, I just have the trees to do. Finish what you're saying, Carol. Um, I didn't know if I was going to like the grass behind the sheep, but I, it's a D DMC and it's a pretty light green. But I ended up thinking it looks fine good. I think if it had been a darker green, the sheep would not have shown up. Or maybe they would have. I don't know. But anyway, that's what it looks like. It's done. I mean, it's almost done. So those two I'm going to finish this weekend. And then the next one that I've decided I'm going to do is this one by Chessie and me. It's called the 1864 House Sampler. Somebody was stitching on this at the retreat, I believe. I love it. Hopefully it'll go fast. It's originally stitched on 30, or the calls for is 32 count tin roof. I have a piece of 35 count tin roof that I'm going to use. And I haven't put the colors on a ring yet, but they're your kind of classic red, white, and blue. The red is Mulberry by Gentle Art. And there's the tin roof. So everything's going to show up. And I'm hoping to start that very soon. Because I want to work on that as my next um, patriotic small. Okay, then, and I will include it, hopefully, random piece of floss. <laughs> I don't know where that comes from. I find it in my laundry. I find it floss everywhere go to the bathroom it's on the bathroom floor it's like, do I have a trailer or what's the deal tag along okay then I took two other pieces to work on one of them I didn't touch but that is um, come into my garden I showed you this last time I believe and this is one I definitely want to get back to. This is by Blackbird Designs. Come into my garden. Came out in 2019. I don't know what you're seeing. So I took that with me. I, I may have put a few stitches in, but not enough to write home about. And that's the chart. Come into my garden by Blackbird. So I thought, oh, this will be kind of comfort stitching. I took it with me, but then I didn't touch it. Or maybe if I did just a little bit. The other thing that I started, this was sort of, this was a memory. <laughs> when I was a country sampler years ago, I bought this chart, Mary Havens by Erica Michaels. If you go to country sampler and look on their walls, it's, it's on the walls. And um, I might try to insert a picture of this one. See, I'm at 19 minutes, so Mary Havens. The picture that I'll insert is one 
that's on the wall at Country Sampler. So being the crazy person that I am, I decided I wanted to start this while I was at Country Sampler. So I did. It's got a double border and I stitched the entire border, which was a lot of counting and talking and laughing and still counting and I came out fine. I don't have a huge margin on this, but I think it's fine. I have a good uh, inch, and, inch and a half, inch and three fourths. So I'm, I think I'm good. It's probably almost two inches. So to get the beauty of it, you'd have to see the, the model stitched. This next row, see that really light line that goes there? That's all queen stitches. I didn't want to work on the queen stitches while I was there because queen stitches for me take, I can do them. They're not my favorite. I didn't used to be able to do them, but now I can do them. And so I decided instead to start on that leaf, which I didn't get very far on. So that's what I took with me to stitch on. And now let's talk about my haul. Um, first of all, in the mail while I was gone, I got the new Dying to Stitch Berry. This is part of the club. This is Erica Michaels Berry Club. Crunching. So this was this is an exclusive to Dying to Stitch. It's called the Goldfinch by Erica Michaels. She's doing a lot of birds this time, so it's very pretty. I still have a lot, a lot of those strawberry kits that I haven't done, so someday I'm going to have to just dedicate some time. Because usually they're not a tremendous amount of stitching, so I just need to do it. And this isn't really my quilting video, but I did want to say thank you to Paula Barnes, who was at the uh, retreat. She sent me two of her new books, one to keep and one to give away. So in my next quilt video, I'll be giving away one of Paula Barnes' Quilt Club, the newest book. It was so nice to reconnect with her. I had met her years ago when I worked at the quilt shop. So this is by Red Crinoline Quilts, published by Martingale, and it's called Quilt Club. It's Paula Barnes and Mary Ellen Robinson Robison of Red Krillin Quilts. And it's meant to be like an exchange. So you would get your friends together and make stars, um, just make blocks to exchange. Here's the back picture. So I will be giving away one of these on my next video, quilt video. Okay. I got some gifts. I'm hesitant to talk about a lot of um, gifts because some of them I don't remember the names. I'm horrible with names. I told people that go in one ear and then out my other ear. Unless I say the names or for me, if I have a sit and have a long conversation with somebody, I can remember their name. If I just meet them on the fly, hi, I'm Susie, hi, I'm so-and-so, I don't remember. Which reminds me. See, this is, I'm a little scattered today because I'm still really tired. But when I was talking about Mary Havens, the one I just showed you that I started at Country Sampler, you will notice that Country Sampler ages all of their samplers. This one that I was talking about, that I'm going to put in a picture of the Country Sampler model. They age all of their samplers, a lot, almost all their cross stitch, they age. And they have a whole way of doing it. Um, you can ask them because the gal that does it, does it consistently for everything she stitches. So while I was at Country Sampler, I talked to Lauren, who is L hooked, kind of looks like I hooked on Instagram, but it's L hooked. And 
she was saying she does that aging on her pieces. So I got some good tips from her and I am going to take one of the samplers that I've done in the past. Maybe snooty parrots, I don't know. But she uses walnut crystals. This is not something I'm telling you how to do it because I've never done it and I'm gonna to have to experiment. But you take a little bit of walnut crystals, add it to hot water, use a cheap, not a foam, but a cheap brush and you literally dry brush, just get a little bit, blot it, dry brush across your piece. Now, obviously it's best to test it on a piece of fabric that you're not, so you don't, you know, splotch because you don't want to get a lot of water. You want to do it really pretty much a dry brush. So that is something that I'm going to be doing and I can't wait. I can't wait. So anyway, um, all that to say, I just want to make sure because I thought if I don't remember to say that when I show you Mary Havens, I would forget. Um, in the upstairs room, Pam gave us these cute little needle books by Moda. We each got a different one. Um, Terry, who's chocolates for breakfast. She gave us this little scissor holder made out of um, old quilts. She also gave us a troll bead. She has these beautiful bracelets that are these troll beads. Um, Brenda and Laura gave us floss tags and they gave everybody these. They were so generous. Um, Let's see, my sister gave us all little, they open up, they're spring-loaded, and she had a counting pin. My counting pin's in here somewhere, but she had bought a counting pin to put each one in. That was very nice. So we got lots of fun gifts. Um, from each other. If I don't, and then, um, Sylvia, her and Lisa Duffin just did a video about the retreat. There's a lot of videos going to be coming out about the retreat. So, like I said, I didn't take that many pictures. So make sure you're watching other people's um, videos too. But Sylvia from Running with Needles and Scissors, she gave us these floss tags. This is a picture from my sampler that she had, an antique one that she's going to be reproducing. So that was exciting running with needles and scissors. She used to, she hadn't done a video for a long time and I used to watch every one of her videos and she was at that time living in Germany. She had real short hair. Well, at the retreat, she has this long curly, kind of curly hair. I did not recognize her. So I saw her in the store and I was like, hi, how are you? You know, just talking to everybody. And then later somebody said, well, that's Sylvia from Running With Needles and Scissors. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel so bad. I didn't even recognize her. So I had to go apologize. Of which on her video, she said I didn't need to apologize. And Janine Wolf, she gave us this whole little bag for all of us that were floss tube people with the tomato and the strawberry and then floss tags in there with this lovely lady on them so that was fun i know there's other people that gave me things as i go through my stash i will possibly find things but so the first designer was brenda gervais this was our kit from brenda gervais it's called at home it's a sampler love these boxes <laughs> they're just so fabulous and you know what oh yeah i got it um when she signed the book, she put, let me see, I'll show you all the goodies that were in here. I love this. May your borders always meet. <laughs> love it. So this was the chart that we got, and you'll see lots of pictures of the sampler. It was beautiful. And she gave us a talk about four words that she ca that came to mind when she started designing this, and it was country, sampler, spring, and green. Of course, that's the name of the store and the town. 
And so she ta started talking about the robins or the first bird of spring and the tulips. And she has tulips placed strategically through. And then the green grass, the green trees, um, the house in the country. It was just a really neat talk of how she designed all this. A brick house on a step terrace flanked by trees so commonly seen on 19th century Frederick County, Maryland samplers. Now this will be coming out probably in a little over a year or so. It is a retreat exclusive at this point. She gave us a cute little pad of paper. Then we got all of the fabric and the threads for the project. She gave us a little floss ring and floss tags. I don't even want to open these things. And then she gave us a magnet, just a few more stitches, and then I'll tend to housekeeping. I think it should say housekeeping and cooking. <laughs> Although my husband did pretty good. He fend for himself while I was gone. I, I don't even think he ate out very much. Okay, so we got that. Then the second half of the day was um, Linda Lottenslager from Chessie and Me. Let me see here. I'm trying to somewhat get organized. She gave us this nice project bag. I love these. And this was her project. Originally, when I first saw the sneak peek for the camp campers, because this is Stitch Camp, um, I thought this would be Paulette's, but this is Chessie and me, Linda Lottenschlager. And she's kind of local to Country Sampler. I don't think she lives too far away in Wisconsin from Country Sampler. So this is the project. And true to Linda's style, she does she loves patriotic, loves eagles, the house, two houses, a boat or a ship. My husband says it's a ship. The flags. It's just fabulous. There are specialty stitches, but most of Linda's do have specialty, and they're, they're fun ones, and she gives great diagrams on how to do those specialty stitches. So with that, we got our thread um, card, I guess you'd call it, plus some extra threads that we need. We got our linen, which is a piece, I believe this, let me see who this linen is by. I thought, I thought it was um, Fox and Rabbits. No, it isn't, it's Wheat by Fiber on a Whim. Now I remember that. And then we got a needle. And then we got a corner gauge. Also very, very fun. So that's one I wanna work on, obviously. If I don't put everything back, I end up with a mess. So that was, so we had a breakfast buffet, Brenda Gervais, a lunch, and then Linda. And then we were all free in the evening to go to dinner as we wanted to or whatever with friends. And then, that was Friday. On Saturday, Paulette from Plum Street was our designer. And this was our project from Paulette. What's my time? 33. And that is a beautiful project, and it's called Summer Moon. Somebody said, not only do we have one house, we kind of have three. <laughs> With the great big moon, the flag, the bunnies. Summer Moon by Plum Street. So again, this will probably be coming out in about a year. And then with that, we got our piece of linen which was by Fox and Rabbit and it's called Baked Clay. Love that. We also got um, some floss drops from Thread Milk Designs, Lori Wilson, and a floss ring. 
And then we had lots of floss in here for that project. And probably most of them are reds. There's a lot of red on there, which I love. I'm like so excited to do that one too. So that was Summer Moon by Plum Street. And then each designer had kits in the store that were like an additional part of the retreat that you could buy. I did not, I got Brenda's pattern, but I didn't get the kit to go with it. It had country, uh, country mocha, vintage country mocha. I have a lot of that at home. And I had every one of the flosses at home. But I did get the one for Paulette that was for Mini Moon. And so this is the design, Mini Moon, Plum Street, and it came with the baked clay and the threads. So this was an extra purchase, but designed for the retreat goers. Let's see. I have the... Oh, and here's my name badge. The only thing I would suggest if I ever had input into a retreat is to put, if people have either an Instagram or a Facebook, to put their logo because so many times I found myself saying and who are you on Instagram <laughs> because sometimes we've watched or we've seen so many postings from people that we recognize their Instagram name more than their actual name we also got from Jeannie on that Thursday night a great bag Americana bag and she had a few goodies in there and then um let me just show you. So this piece of straw I got at Culture Station before I got to Spring Green. I also got some black, half yards of black small prints. Years ago, I used to buy a lot of navy because I did so much red, white, and blue and all of that. And I don't have as many black small prints, so I bought that. This was a freebie pattern and we could buy the kit to go with it. It's called 1776. I can't show you because it's it's basically a flag with 1776 written in it. it. If I show it to you, it's just the chart, so. No, I lied. There is a picture. So this is it, 1776. And then you could get the little kit to make that. So I have to have that kept together. That might be one of the little smalls that I set aside to do during the month. Of, um. And then we got a gift from Jeannie the last day. And this is a, it's a zippered bag. She also had these for sale at the store, different prints than this, so I had already bought one. And now I have a second one. I thought they were the same, but they weren't, they're not, so I'm glad they're different. So I had those. And let's see what else we have in here. I had to have this chart. I've been itching to get this chart ever since I saw it at the Farm Girl Retreat in Amana in 2021 in April. Love this. This is Live on Little by Paulette. It calls for hog bristle, 36 count hog bristle. And in the pictures I'm going to show you, there was a gal, I think her name was Pam. No, Kim. Kim Parda. And she had finished it on 40 count. So I definitely want to do it on 40 count. And a lot of it's DMC, but there are a few um, weeks and a few uh, classic color works. So I'm going to try to pull that today. I don't, I'd don't. i like to start on this like right after I do some more smalls. I love this. That's a lot of stitching. It's 307 by 2 something, but it's a lot of stitching because it's kind of full coverage. Go to um, Lisa Kindred Stitcher is working on hers, and she's really made a lot of progress. I'd say she's close to being finished. I've seen this before on the Country Sampler website, and I really always wanted to get that one. So a place, uh, no, sorry, A Fine House Indeed by Lottie Da. I love it. They had obviously had that. I did not take a lot of pictures in the store. I kind of regret that I hadn't. 
Um, this was one of Brenda Gervais' new releases. Thankful. She also had the squirrel ones. I debated on the squirrel ones. I had a squirrel run over my foot in my house a couple years ago. I'm not a huge squirrel fan, but they are really cute, so I don't know. I may. But that's... I love that because that is um, more geared toward... It's fall, but it's geared toward Thanksgiving. I was watching somebody, too, that got out their um, uh, Coming to America by Brenda Gervais, the long one that had the Mayflower and all of that. And there was a companion... I think it was Rachel from Needle and Flax. I was watching her video last night, and I think she had it in there. But there's another one that's like Harvest Blessing that was a complimentary pattern that was in that um, Coming to America. So that one and this one would be really nice together. Um, Fox and Rabbit Winter Wren. I got this at Country Sampler. There's a new Chessy and Me needle book that had some things uh, that came out at market. I already had the pattern, but I think I'm going to use this for it. I bought this, which is Threadwork Primitives. This is called Summer Basket, and it's kitted with 36 count dolphin. And it has the fabric with it to make the small and the linen and threads. This is a fairly new release. Should I hold it longer? Threadwork, Threadwork Primitives Summer Basket. This was a, um, I bought some more rings. <laughs> I think I bought those at Quilter Station. Um, this is another new one, Tree of Life Sampler by Brenda Gervais. There's a lot of kind of violet in here, and I thought, oh. I saw the model, and it was like, oh, yeah, I got to. That's so gorgeous. If you'd see the model. And then this is the antique. It's really, really pretty. And it's not huge. It's done on beige by Weeks Dye Works. It's only 89 by 118 stitches. Does it say two strands? No, all stitches are worked with one strand. So 32 count, one strand. That's kind of interesting to get that look, I guess. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> People used to say kazoontide. This was a gift I got from, I think this was from Linda Wallace. There was a table of four women, Jean Hohulan, Linda Wallace, I think her name was Robin. She does framing, I know that. And Sue. Was it Robin? Oh my gosh. Names, names, names. Anyway, they had one of those tables that everybody's taking pictures of. They had taken a Brenda Gervais pattern. They had stitched country sampler stitch camp. They all had matching tomato pin cushions. They all had matching mats. It was incredible. But anyway, I think it was Linda Wallace that gave me this, and she is a friend of this artist. I just love that. I want to frame that. Isn't that beautiful? It's actually a card, but that is just fabulous. The artist's name is Anne. Oh, golly. It looks like it has, it's either W I X A. R. Wixer? Wixer? Something like that. I don't think you'll be able to read it. I'm sorry. I bought a couple of quilt patterns. This is a quilt they had hanging. Country Sampler, 1776. And this is one of their patterns. They had this uh, quilt made up. Again, Paula Barnes, a red colonel, and she was at the retreat. And I love that. It's just a table topper, 27 by 27. So I'm showing all of this, even though this isn't really a cool video, but you get it. Oh, 
Oh, what's this little goodie? Somebody gave this to S. Nichols. Gave floss tags in a ring. I wish I knew everybody's name. It's terrible. And she had little stickers and a tiny tomato. And all of that was in this cute little bag. This is Country Sampler's logo. So you'll see this on a lot of pictures. They had a big, big, large picture that the designer stood in front of for pictures. But this one is a needle minder. So I got that. That bag's empty. Did I show you this? Oh yeah, Zweigart Straw. I got that piece at Coulter Station. They had a little bit of salt bush by Fox and Rabbit. This is 40 count salt bush. It's like a fat eighth. But I really like that color, so I thought I'd get that. I found a piece of Lakeside Vintage Sand Dune at Lens of Madison. That was a fine 40 count. So I got that fat half. This was the extra pattern that Brenda offered. I mean, it was, a, you purchased it, but um, I think, yeah. But this was um, a girl in her garden, a drum. And this is the one they had kits for, but when I looked at it, it's like, I have all that. So I was trying to be good. The only thing I don't have is the velveteen on the top and they had sold out of that. So I'll have to get some of that. Got a Wisconsin shopping guide. <laughs> oh. This was another quilt pattern that I got. They had it kitted. I think Nicole got it kitted. Nicole of Nicole's Needlework. This I got at, this is Fox and Rabbit Ballet Slippers. I got that at Coulter Station. It was a fat half, and they cut it down to a fat quarter for me. And then, should I keep going? I'm almost done. So, um, I got this at Country Sampler, I mean, excuse me, at Culture Station 50 squared. That was, it's just a, uh, one, two, three, a 25 patch on point. This I got at Country Sampler. They had... The model. This is called With Needle and Thread by Samplers Not Forgotten. It was all distressed. Beautiful. It's not something I would buy based on the pattern picture, but when you saw it, made up. I also got this one. This is a Scottish house sampler by Mary Wind Farm. This wasn't necessarily made up, but I saw it on the rack, and I really liked that. Mary Ingalls. Inglis, 1830. By Mary, Mary Wind Farm. Got this at Culture Station, another Chessie and Me pattern. And this one is um, called the Stitch Girl Sampler. Oops. By Chessie and Me. Just really like that. These are two patterns I never thought I'd buy. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of funky rabbits. But when I saw the model and distressed, I thought, oh yeah, I love that. So that just shows what models do for a store. So this is called a Two Rabbit Sampler by Lottie Da, and they did have this one. I should have taken a picture, but I didn't. But you can find it on their website. Same with this one, Rabbit Hollow Farm. Again, one that I probably wouldn't have done had I not seen it made up. This one's by Stacy Nash and called Rabbit Hollow Farm Sampler. With all those bunnies on the grass, instead of sheep, they're bunnies in a church. Love it. This one they had made up, beautiful. 
by the pin keep, the Pledge of Allegiance. It was all distressed. It was fabulous. This is another la -dee da that, again, I hadn't. It's been out for a while, but I didn't have it. It's called Virtue. And it just says Virtue. Sorry, I'm trying to hold these so you can see without me taking them out of the plastic. I bought this one at Lynn's of Madison. The gal that works, her name is Pam, and she works at Country Sampler. And she had done the model at um, Lynn's of Madison. I thought, sure, I took a picture of it, but I don't know what happened. It's not on my phone, so. I also got this one by Needlework Press. I've seen this made up. And it's, it was at one time their Book of Days cover, and then they charted it. Love it. And then I bought two kits. This one was, um, this is by Artful Offerings, and you've, if you've seen their website, you've seen this one. Adorable. And it even comes, if you make it into a pin keep with fabric that is has the sailboats on it. Clever. And then this one, they also had God Bless America, Land That I Love, also by Artful Offerings. With that barn. Love it. And the flag. That's it, people. That's my trip. So, all together, let's see. I had probably seven hours between the two flights on that one Sunday. Tuesday, then I had an eight-hour driving. Then a few days later, Sunday, an 11-hour driving. I drove some of it. Then Wednesday, coming back, I had a 16-hour day, including driving, flying, sitting in airports. So Thursday, I pretty much, I mean, I didn't get to bed till 4.30. I hadn't eaten since lunch, so I was really hungry. So I ate something, and then I got to bed. So I probably slept more than I did anything on Thursday. And then Friday, yesterday, I just didn't do much. <laughs> I just didn't do much. <laughs> I've just been chilling. So anyway, that's all I have today. See, I told you it'd be less. It's only 52 minutes. So anyway, I hope you all have a good day. And I hope you have been able to live a little vicariously through me. And um, if you get a chance to go to a retreat, please do, because they're fun. You get to meet so many different people and recognize people that you've watched or seen their posts on Instagram. And then you get to meet them in person and they become real friends, not just virtual friends, but real friends, which is so fun. So anyway, lots and lots and lots of laughter, which is so good for the soul. So. Anyway, hope you all have a good day. Love you. Bye. I just had a thought. <laughs> I just wanted to say sometime in the next week or 10 days, I'm going to be loading a quilt video with all the quilts that I want to sell. So be watching. It'll just say quilt video number three, quilts for sale. And then I'll tell more about that then. All right. See ya. Bye.